Hey everybody, Todd from Juno Bay coming at you with today's Catch 365 tip of the day. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about sabiki rigs. Springtime in South Florida, the bait's coming back. In fact, right behind us here at the beach, we're basically at the blue green roof condos. Juno Beach Pier is a little bit south to us, but right behind us, you know, within the next few weeks, month or so, will become a very common bait catching spot and for our local area. And sabiki rigs are going to make a big part of that possible. So I've been around for a long time as far as catching bait goes. I mean, I can remember back to being a kid on the Lake Worth Pier and catching bait fish, pilchards, and stuff out of what we called a ribbon rig. It was actually hoops of wire with red ribbon in between there. And they actually would swim in and get stuck. It was the craziest thing, and it worked. And then somebody came up with the idea that if you used really small gold hooks... Um, and a long, you know, a couple of them together, the bait fish would actually bite the gold hooks. Well, that was way better than the ribbon rig. Then somebody came up with this, the sabiki rig, and it was an extreme game changer. Small pieces of fish skin on six to eight hooks, dynamite, pilchards, thread fins, sabikis, sabikis, sardines, blue runners, goggle eyes, you name it, they can all be caught on a sabiki. So you go in a tackle shop, you're looking at the wall of sabikis, and you've got who knows how many options. You've got Tsunami, Marathon, there's Hayabusa. I mean, the, you name it, it's out there. There's, there could be, you know, depending on the tackle shop, 25 to 30 different sabiki rigs floating around. few things to keep in mind. First of all, if there is bigger bait, you're going to want a bigger sabiki, a size 8, a size 6 hook. Um, you know, you don't need the real small hooks. They'll bite the small hooks better, but the bigger hooks will be easier to deal with. As the bait decreases in size, you have to go down in the size of your hooks. As the pressure increases, as there's more people around with sabiki rigs, you have to also go smaller with your hooks to where, you know, you sometimes in high pressure situations will have to go all the way down to a number three sabiki which is super small hooks, you know, as small a rig as you will find. And that rig is one in extreme pressure areas that you've got to use. The problem is, is it's real light line and it's real small hooks. So bigger baits grab on, they can pop the hooks off there, or they can also, with the hooks being so small, it can be hard to get the baits off of there. So that, remember that, more pressure, smaller baits are going to definitely be smaller size hooks. Bigger baits, less pressure, you can get away with the bigger hooks. The other, one of the other big things with sabiki rigs is the actual fish skin that comes on the hook. I'm going to show you two here that are the most common. These are in the Hayabusa. The Hayabusa with red heads has what is called Kawa fish skin, and the green is Aurora fish skin. Aurora tends to be a little more iridescent, a little more pearly, a little flashier in the water. So Aurora will sometimes have the advantage over the Kawa, and there's times where they like the Kawa better. So depending on the brand, you'll see those two names on there. That style of fish skin can definitely make a difference. And then the last factor to consider is the line size and material that rigs are tied on. I'll show you a little different one here. So two different brands. You have a Tsunami and a Marathon. They're very similar sabikis. The Marathon is tied on regular, just monofilament line. The Tsunami is tied on fluorocarbon. So this one, the Tsunami, is going to be a little bit more stealthy, a little harder for to see. So the fluorocarbon will make a, you know just a little easier to catch the bait. A little more expensive, but a lot of times it is definitely worth it few tips on sabikis. I'll have more coming as far as sabikis go as we move into the spring and summertime, but those are just a few things to help you kind of get rolling as we roll into summer. As always, thanks for watching everyone.